Hi, my name is Mike. I'm in Highland Hill Farm. And before me, you can see there's a good examples of viburnums and burning bushes that we gave a real hard cut to. And we did this about a month ago with a chainsaw, believe it or not. And one thing you can notice is that they all are coming out with new leaves. You can see a real hard cut on them. Viburnums can take some real nasty cut pruning before they die. But the one thing you can see that's obvious is that right now they should be flowering, but they have very few flowers. There is one flower over here. The reason for that is that viburnums and such plants that are determinate have the flower buds that are created on last year's growth. So if you cut off all last year's growth, you won't have any flowers this year. That's why when you prune these, you should prune these after they flower and once these new stalks start hardening off. That way when the buds are formed for next year, they have flowers for you. But anyway, you can see that you can cut them. These guys were like 15 foot tall. They were massive tall trees. We cut them about three foot because that's what we usually do. I even had some friends come out and said that I was going to kill these guys because I cut them so hard. But you can see they still come back. Vibrinums are a very resilient plant. And you can see the number of shoots that they're putting up. Yes, they, 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 if you cut them real hard like that, they come back even thicker and fuller. Now this is a burning bush you cut back hard. Yes, that is. And uh, that's what happens with burning bushes as well. They are also in the same family where they can take a lot of unnecessary cutting. <laughs> they still come back. They are very resilient as right. well. But these trees were so big that they were blocking the sunlight to other trees. For example, this is a, a red red maple, a Japanese red maple, and it had just it languished on this one side of the tree because these bushes were taking all the light from it. So it affected the, the quality and growth of other trees. So cutting down and cutting back on shrubs and nursery stock actually can help them and give you a better product. Well, it's a month later. You can take a look at the bushes. They're very thick and full. Much thicker and fuller than when we, when we started. Again, these guys are going to grow very fast. They will, if you let them, they will get to the same height again rapidly. Within two to three years, they'll be the same height. And you can keep trimming them down in height if you want, or you can just let them grow up again and be nice, tall, big bushes. Okay, thank you very much, Mike. And I can see your dog's out here. He's just waiting for you to kick that ball. Yes, she is. He He's been very patient. Okay, here you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> At Highland Hill Farm, we have a lot of different kinds of trees for you. We have both deciduous and evergreen. Some of the spruces that we have are like Colorado Bruce spruce, Norway spruce, white spruce, Serbian, Black Hill spruce, black spruce. We also have some firs such as Fraser, Balsam, Douglas, and Concolor. Most of these are in seedling or transplants. We do have larger trees such as white pine, Norway spruce. We also sell a whole range of arborvitas in many different sizes from transplants up to large trees. The trees that we sell are both bare root and bald and burlap and potted. We have thousands of them that we grow. We also have southwestern white pine, and we are noted for our green giant arborvitas and Leland cypresses. We also have hemlocks up to 10 to 12 foot high, along with redwoods. We can also supply you with some bald cypress, larch, eastern red cedar. In the way of shrubs, we have arrowwood viburnums, bayberry, black hall viburnums, a whole range of viburnums dogwoods, red twig, silky dogwoods, elderberries. We also have forsythia, common lilacs, Japanese lilacs, Peking lilacs. We also have nanaberry, nine bark, and things such as Russian olive, which some people think are is invasive. But we do sell a wide range of trees and shrubs, including winterberry holly. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 as we do deliver and we deliver and plan.
This is a box of fishing lures that I just got in. There are lots and lots of lures in this box. And you can come to the farm and pick through them. If you want to see some old lures, you can buy some old lures, trade. Here at Highland Hill Farm, we do a lot of bartering. We would trade for fishing equipment, hunting equipment, ammunition, guns. We also do a lot with, uh, you can see there's quite a bit in here. All kinds of things. So, come to Highland Hill Farm. We also trade for things such as archaeological finds like Indian artifacts. And also, over here, we do a lot of bartering and trading for fossils and minerals. We're at 5275 West Swamp Road, Fountainville, PA, 18923. Give us a call. We like to barter, and we have all kinds of goodies for you to come see. Plus, we have trees and shrubs out the wazoo to barter with. We grow lots and lots of trees and shrubs, and we also have some hardscaping materials. So, again, give us a call at 215 651 83 I also collect Indian artifacts, pebbles, stones, rocks, and all kinds of unique items that the Indians used. And we also will buy or barter for them. And we also have arrowhead hunting areas where you can go hunt for Indian arrowheads on some of our properties. So my father's holding up one box of arrowheads there, and he'll hold up another one for you.